Lesson 11.2b, Getting Ready, Addition Equations, Modeling Equations. We can model an equation on a balance scale. This is a balance scale. For the equation to remain true, both sides must remain equal or be the same weight or mass. If we take something from one side, we must take an equivalent quantity from the opposite side. So here we have a balance scale and we have 2 plus 3 on this side and it's equal to 5 on this side. This side is 5 in all and this side is 5 in all. If we take 3 away from this side, we must take 3 away from this side in order to keep it level and balanced. If we subtract 3 from one side, we must subtract 3 from the other side to keep the balance scale level. Here we have the equation n plus 2 is equal to 5. This triangle represents the variable n and each square represents 1. We can remove the same number of squares from each side and the scale will remain balanced. We can take these two away and we can take two from this side. The remaining squares on the right side will show us the value of the triangle. It stays balanced. We took the same amount away from each side. One triangle is equal to three squares. We know n is equal to 3. For an equation to remain true, both sides of the equal sign must remain equal. The middle of the balance scale represents the equal symbol. We have n plus 2 is equal to 7. If we take this 2 away, we need to take 2 away from this side. We have n is equal to 5. Here our equation is 7 is equal to 2x plus 1. The triangles are going to represent the x, we have 2x, and each trapezoid is going to equal 1. We can remove one trapezoid from each side. That means 6 is equal to 2x. And we know that 2 times 3 is 6, so x must be equal to 3. Each triangle must be equal to 3. It's telling us to solve each equation, write the solution in the space provided. We have 28 is equal to 18 plus a. We need to find the value of a. Well, we have 18 on this side and 28 on this side, and 28 is great enough to take 18 away from it. If we take 18 away from this side and 18 away from this side, then we have 10 on this side. We've removed the 18 because we took it away. We have 10 is equal to A. We know A is equal to 10. Here we have Y plus 5 is equal to 20. What number plus 5 is equal to 20? Well, we can remove this 5 from this side and a 5 from this side, and that's going to give us a 15. We've removed this 5 by subtracting it. We have y is equal to 15. Here we have 47 plus b is equal to 50. Now you could probably just do it in your head to know what we need to add to 47 to equal 50, but what we're doing is we're subtracting 47 from this side, and we're subtracting 47 from this side. That's going to leave a 3. We've removed this by subtracting it. We have b is equal to 3. And we can do this with money. We have $5 plus n is equal to $7. We can take away the $5 from this side. We can take away $5 from this side. And we see that n must be equal to 2. When we took this $5 away, we eliminated it. We removed it. We have n is equal to $2. If we have 20 centimeters plus x centimeters is equal to 26 centimeters, we can take the 20 centimeters away from each side. That's going to eliminate this and remove it. And 26 minus 20 is 6. We know that x is equal to 6 centimeters. 
Here we have 4 plus x is equal to 7. We can model the equation with algebra tiles. We have 4 plus some amount x is equal to 7. We can take 4 away from this side. 1, 2, 3, 4. We can take 4 away from this side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have an x on this side and 3 on this side. When the x tile is alone to one side of the equal sign, the solution is the number of tiles on the other side. Okay, we finished the second part. We're going to move on to the third part using subtraction to solve equations. Keep trying your best. I am proud of you, and I hope you have a really nice day. Bye.